This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I stop the one pixel wide black line that appears when exporting a tiling texture with GrabDoc? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and I have the earthquake project file loaded in here. So the question is asking about a artifact that may appear when you're trying to create a tiling texture inside of ZBrush and how to solve that to make sure that your tiling texture tiles completely and doesn't have this line. So first I'm just gonna come through and I'm just gonna make a quick tiling texture with Earthquake here. So to do this, I'm gonna come to the document tab up here and open this up. I'm gonna go down here to these size sliders. I'm gonna disable pro. I'm gonna change my width to say 1024 and my height to 1024. And then I'm gonna click resize. I'm gonna click yes to the little dialog that pops up. I'm gonna hit control plus N on my keyboard to clear my canvas. And I'm gonna come over here to the side and just zoom out a little bit so I can see the ends or the borders of my canvas. And now I'm just gonna take Earthquake here and I'm just gonna draw them out like so. And I'm just gonna draw a bunch of him in the middle here. And this is just clicking and dragging, so it's just applying Earthquake in a 2.5D fashion. And after I have the center filled up like this, I'm gonna hold down the tilde key on my keyboard and then click on a blank spot of the canvas here and drag. And this is gonna allow me to start forming this tiling feature. And then I can drag out more earthquakes here. So just filling the canvas. And I wanna make sure when you're doing this that you're not reaching that outer edge of the canvas here. And then just tilde to move it around, add some more earthquakes. So there we go, we've got a nice tiling earthquake texture here. So now let's say I want to export this out. So to do this, normally you come into the texture tab up here and you'd come over here to grab doc and this is going to grab the document and it's gonna give you a new file. And from here you can just select this file and do an export and I'm just going to save this out. So we'll just do this as zgrab01 and just save that out. And we're gonna an image channel dialog here. Since we don't want our materials or our mat caps in this, we're just gonna click no. And now I'm just gonna open this texture map inside of Photoshop. So here's the file in Photoshop. And if I zoom in and then come up here to the filter tab up here, and go to other and do an offset. And I'm gonna change this to 512 by 512 and hit okay. You're gonna notice that there is this seam line happening inside my map here. So this map is not tiling absolutely perfectly. So you can see this is that line there. Sometimes this line is a black line. It all depends on your background color of your ZBrush scene. So how can I go by removing this so my earthquake texture here is fully seamless and tileable? So there is a script that you can install into ZBrush to solve this issue. So the link to the script will be available in the comment section below this video. Click that link down below, it'll bring you directly to this thread. Here there are some installation instructions on the script, so you just wanna make sure you copy the file here to your ZPlugs64 and ZPlugs folder. And then after you restart, and we go back to ZBrush here, in the texture palette down at the bottom here, you'll have this tileable texture tab. And this is going to allow you to create a seamless texture from your tiling map. And it's gonna remove those borders that we just saw happening inside of Photoshop. So to simply do this, you just install this script and then come down here and just simply click. And this is now going to create that seamless texture for you. After it finishes, you're gonna get a little dialog and it's just telling you that the seamless texture, RGB Grab 01, has been stored in the texture palette. And it's also generated a seamless alpha that is stored in depth Grab 01. So you can just click that. And now if I come back to the texture tab up here, you can see I have that new map created. And if I just select that guy and now export this out, I'm gonna save this one as seamless. I'm gonna go back to Photoshop and here we have the seamless version of this map. And if I now go to filter and offset again, and just set it to 512 by 512 and now zoom in, you can see there is no longer that seam line that was happening in the previous version. So that is the solution to remove that from your tiling maps. So you just wanna follow the link below, which will take you to ZBrush Central here and just download the seamless texture script here. Now, one other thing that may be useful if you're using this 2.5D and tilde functionality to create seamless textures inside of ZBrush 
is to also remember that you can apply different materials after you've created a map like so. So let's say I have this as my diffuse or albedo pass for my map here. And now let's say I want to generate a normal version of this. I can come over here to the side and I can select the simple brush. And then over here, I can change my material to say normal RGB mat, like so. I can change my stroke to drag rectangle. And now if I just drag this across my model, it's going to replace the material and the color that was on my original texture. And now it has given me a normal map. And this can be used with any materials inside of ZBrush here. So if you want a normal map, there you go. Let's say you want to generate some sort of faux cavity map. You can select any of these kind of framers here and do that same process. Just make sure you have the standard brush selected. You have drag rectangle on and drag out. And now you're going to have a version with that material applied. And you just come through and try different materials and keep saving these passes out to use them in your projects. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.